Welcome to Coffee Theology, which is where I drink coffee and talk about pop culture and theology. I'm going to be drinking coffee because, one, coffee is delicious, and because it's crazy cold out there. Comixology is a website where you can buy and read digital comics, and they're very good at what they do. Anyways, this weekend they have a buy one get one free sale going on on practically all Marvel titles. So for a lot of their back issues, uh, they're already one ninety nine a piece. Buy one get one free. Math comes out to ninety nine cents ish a piece. So that's quite the bargain. And new issues that well, it's Marvel, so they tend to be three ninety nine a piece. That's still two dollars for a new issue, and um, they've got a lot of good stuff coming out, and that's coming from well, pretty much a DC fanboy. So kudos to you, Marvel and Comicsology. Anyways, what does this have anything to do with theology? Well, yeah, I can shoehorn it in. So I've been looking to find the best way to take advantage of this, and been looking for you know, storylines, issues with religious themes, and that hasn't been as easy as I wanted it to be, uh, because there's no real, you know, coherent database of religious stories in comic books. Someone should do that. Ah, crap. Josh, add that to the list of things to do. I'm just kidding, Josh isn't here, but if he watches this, which he might add that to the list of things we need to do because that will actually smooth line a lot of my work and research. Hmm, imagine that. Anyway, so I went to Google, you know, but I spent a lot of time on adherence.com, which is a wonderful internet rabbit hole from which there is no escape. Did you know the Punisher was once a seminary student? I, I need to pursue that further. Anyways, um, I managed to cobble together a couple of storylines that I picked up for, you know, half-ish, buy one, get one free, however you want to, you know, describe it as. Anyways, some of the things I got. I picked up um, a couple issues from Chuck Austin's run on uh, Uncanny X-Men that was apparently fairly controversial, mostly because how it mishandled Nightcrawler's character, but also because a lot of the plot hinges on uh, the rapture being a Catholic doctrine. What else did I get? I picked up uh, a couple issues from Mark Wade's run on Fantastic Four uh, called the Hereafter story arc, where Ben Grimm dies. Spoilers. Another spoiler, he gets better. So, um, Reed Richards, Sue, and Johnny try to bring him back. And they do that by, I guess you would say literally, going to heaven to meet God. And if you're thinking Mark Wade, religious comics, that sounds kind of familiar. Well, that would be because Mark Wade wrote. Kingdom Come. Now, this is DC, obviously, so not included in the buy one, get one free sale, but it's a great comic. Uh, written by Mark Wade, art by Alex Ross. Uh, some of you might be thinking, well, it's an overhyped book, or it's overrated. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Personally, I love it, and even if you don't care for the story, which, I mean, it's a loose adaptation. That might be too generous. Um, it's inspired by the Book of Re Revelation, but reframed as a, you know, comic book superhero drama. And even if that doesn't get you going, get it alone for the Alex Ross art. I mean, just get it as an art book. It is crazy amazing. That was a tangent. It had nothing to do with buy one, get one sale. I just like to talk about it. I also got... Um, Part of Frank Miller's run on Daredevil, his born-again storyline. I got a bunch of new stuff, which 
I won't get into that because I haven't really read anything of it. Um, another thing that you could get, which I recommend, uh, the uh, gra X Men graphic novel. Yeah, God loves, man kills. Um, basically, the inspiration for X Men Two. Yeah, it's really good. That is me rambling while I drink coffee. Clearly, I have had a bit of coffee. I think I will have more. Anyways, um, enjoy the coffee. I really need a better catchphrase.